Hi thinkers and tinkerers, we start grade 3 chapter number 6 that is ranking. But why do we study ranking? Here is a reason behind it that it helps you to understand the priorities. It helps you to evaluate the problem, identify the method and recognize that what way we have to proceed. So when you talk about ranking children, we always come across children standing in a row and we sometimes start counting from the leftmost side and another time we start from the right side and we have to count down that which number which person occupies. So here Rhea and Pranav are playing a ranking game and they are very excited. They have arranged the cutouts in a row and this is the leftmost side. Here we have the rightmost side and after this Rhea asks the question that if Pranav and Mihar interchange their position, which boy or girl will take sixth position from the right side. So here the replacement is done and from the right when he started counting he said it's Pranav. He shouts out for Pranav and that was absolutely correct. So after that Arnav asks Rhea that now it was Arnav turn to ask Rhea and he asked that if he removed Jaffa who is going to be on the third side from the left and Rhea gives the right answer that was there. So we say that ranking is a process of arranging something in an order. It could be from left to right, it could be from right to left and children sometimes we do the arrangement in the vertical way that is from top to bottom. So we have few examples that will make the concept more clear about what all is ranking and positioning in the proper sequence. So let's talk about the vertical arrangement. We have to look for the position of Vishal. If we start counting from the top, he takes sixth position and from the bottom he takes twelfth position. We need to know how many total children were there. We simply add them together and subtract 1. So that gives you 12 plus 6 minus 1 and we got the answer 17. Great going. And further if I say that a child is at 11th position from the top and 40th position from the bottom. How many children are standing in a row? So you will add both of them and subtract 1. That's the rule. So 40 plus 11 minus 1 gives you 50. Moving further. So the question says here we have cylinder, triangle, circle, square, cone and they are arranged in an order. The question says if all the circles are removed from the given arrangement then which of the following figure is the third to the left of the cube. So first thing that you have to do is remove all the circles. And after this we get the arrangement like this and the question says from the cube you have to find the third figure. Yay! Shoot out for a rectangle and C becomes the right answer. Now after this let's see Tina is at 11th on either end of the row of the girls. So you need to find how many girls are there in the row. I told you the rule that was 11 from here and 11 from here and then you subtract 1. So 22 minus 1 gives you 21 and we say there are 21 children in the row. Coming to the next one in a row of 60 persons Rohan is 26 from the left hand. So when you count from the left side, Rohan is taking 26 position. You have to find his position from the right side. So to get the position of Rohan from the right end, we will say we'll subtract from the total number of persons minus the position of Rohan from the left and this one also goes to that direction we are going to add 1 to it. Now total number of children is 60 and the position from the left end was 26. 
So we write 60 minus 26 plus 1 and the answer is 35. That means the position from the right end will be 35. So every time you will get different variety of question but you need to understand the concept that how we do ranking, how we identify the position. Sometimes we are removing certain objects and after removing the objects, how many objects are left behind and then what will be the position from the right side, what will be the position from the left side or sometimes you have to reshuffle the place. We get the questions like that also that you are shuffling the position. Here we have certain balls placed and you have to find that which is to the right of the left of W. We start from W and then we find the third to the left of W. Similarly, fourth from the right hand and further if P is removed from the series. We have a series. So here we remove T and then out of the remaining balls you need to find that which one lies in the middle. Further, which ball lies in the middle of Q and S. That means you have to see that where are Q and S and identify between these two balls which ball actually exists. So again we have another variety of question where 8 friends are sitting on a round table facing towards the center. So this is a table and everyone is facing towards the center over here and you need to find the position that on which position the particular person is sitting on the right of one or on the left of another. So interesting question just you need is the concentration, you need is a pencil and just scribble and get the required answers over here. So just a piece of advice that your success rate entirely depends on your observation, your concentration and your dedication to solve the questions. Just you need to read the questions properly and understand what all is given and what all is asked. So let's look at this question. 13 girls are standing in a line. That means we have a row of 13 girls and Rita is standing on fourth from the left. That means from that corner she takes the fourth position and the question is you need to find her position from the right. So very simple total number of girls are given that is 13 and you take away 4 and add 1 to it. What do you get? Wonderful we get 10 as the right position of Rita. Let's look at another question. In a class of 40 students, Samir's rank from the top was 12 and Alok has 8 ranks below Samir. That means 12 plus 8 is 20. Alok's rank from the top is 20. The question is what was Alok rank from the bottom? So you know total children were 40 and we got 20 from the top. So 40 minus 20 plus 1 gives you 21. We say it was 21st rank from the bottom. That means every time very critical thinking has to be done and it develop your critical thinking ability as well. And it's a wonderful tool to develop spontaneous and prompt ideas in your brain. You know it gives the energy to the brain to pull away the walls of the thoughts and bring creativity in your mind. So I believe you understood how to solve these questions. Please try doing them and bring out your best. Initially it may take time but gradually you will find that you are becoming more prompt, more accurate and I believe you are going to come out with flying colors. Start doing right away.